Hello, and welcome to another episode of Crossword Radio. This is your enigmatic host, The Brain, and today is Christmas, December 25th, 2021. Uh, we have day two of the, uh, what do they call it, the New Year in Review Crossword every day between now and the end of the year. So I've done 2021 in language. 2021 in literature, I'm guessing, is going to be a tougher solve for me. Um, I don't think I read any books this year that came out this year. Um, so I guess we'll see uh, how well we do. Although I looked, another thing I noticed, uh, rather than just on the main puzzles and game page, which is where I normally go, I clicked this All Puzzles button. And there's a couple more somehow that I missed. This going too far and this The Impossible Crossword. I will definitely do um, some videos on those between now and the end of the year, whenever I have time. But right now I just have time to do this one. So Anna Sheckman, great constructor, a little just, you know, a tiny bit outside of my wheelhouse or clues can sometimes be. Um, she can be just a little tougher than like a Patrick Barry <clears throat> or some of the other ones that are more my speed, but we'll see how well we do. My guess is not very well, but we'll take a go anyway. Let me make sure we're centered in the uh, recording software and we look like we are. So let's go. Quiche vessels. I would think pie pans, but maybe casseroles. It's plural though, so... Start of school, question mark. This is probably like a prefix to the word school, maybe. Uh, which I don't know right now. Uh, I forgot about the clicking. Okay. I always forget about the clicking. Comparative, some suffix, maybe ear. Like tastier. Sorry about that. Um, again, with no quotes, we're not looking for a phrase here. So this is an answer, something that you would be sorry about, or that one could be sorry about. Like a regret, something like that. The Very Hungry Caterpillar author, Eric Carl. There we go. Okay, not too off. Oh, I didn't realize he died this year. <clears throat> That's a shame. Um, my five-month-old niece got uh, some Eric Carl merch. I didn't know there was more than just books, but there are many things beyond just the books. But Eric Carl is the guy's name. Commercial lead into pen, probably EpiPen. Hmm. Preschool, maybe? It's pie something. Just not pie uh, pans. Pie plates? Mech. Maybe? What's this? A bridge need no bridge um i don't think we're talking about the structure of bridge i think we're talking about bridge the game which you need a deck of cards for that 15th century peruvian jeez um unsure oh like an inca maybe there we go Karl marx yellow submarine lead vocalist well who are our options here uh, Ringo Starr must be. Yeah, he did not do too many songs as far as singing, but I think the ones that he did do were really good. Definitely the most um, maligned member of the Beatles, Ringo Starr, but I think, you know, good musician, good drummer. Uh, I like his voice on the songs that he does sing. You know, iconic. Definitely does not deserve to be the most maligned Beatle. Pie. Jeez. I don't know, but it's plural, so it's probably an S, right? A Fitbit unit is a step. Yep. Sorry about that. You're repentant, I guess. Colson Whitehead's blank shuffle, whose narrative centers on a heist at New York City's historic Hotel Teresa. Um, I don't know. Harlem Shuffle? New York? You know, is that as a it's place in New York is Harlem? A town? I don't know what to call that. A neighborhood? That must be pie dishes. A photo blow up, right? In large. 
AOC, for example, is a representative um, in the House of Congress. Birds that Marianne Moore called a dainty breed. Birds. P. Hens, maybe? Because it's plural, so it can't be peacocks. But maybe P. Hens. The Life of the Blank, Christine Smallwood novel about lost opportunities to become a mother and professor. The Life of the... something. Sarcastic Sentence Ender. Maybe not. Life of the Menu? Life of the... Nope, I don't think it's peahens. Okay, so maybe pigeons. The life of the mint. Life of the mini. Helps pay for. Maybe goes in on. Like, hey, you want to go in on a pizza? Something like that. Sally, who wrote Beautiful World, Where Are You? Which features emails between an acclaimed novelist and her best friend. Nope, Sally Fields, maybe? I don't, I'm not sure. Craving, nope, because this... I'm sorry, my cat just jumped up on the desk here. It's right in front of the screen. Yes, kitty, good kitty. She's so rarely affectionate, I'd, I'd hate to... Uh, Deny her, so I'm going to pause the recording just a minute. Okay, we're back. Um, so yeah, no, I don't think it's Sally Fields, because I think this is Yen. Pests killed by... Oh, jeez. Pediculicides. Pests. It is plural. And yet it ends in E. Um, not quite sure. I mean, goes in on could be wrong, I guess, but earth science, geology, whoa, geology, no, I just don't think, I think I just don't know that, variety of bowling, maybe 10 pin, no, um, pests, pediculicides, that's what a ridiculous word. Literary genre exemplified by Patricia Lockwood's No One Is Talking About This, which includes a Twitter-using president known only as The Dictator. Well, of course, that was uh, Donald Trump. Um, literary genre exemplified. I'm not sure. Separate his laundries to sort. Tease. Kind of rib on, maybe? Scottish denial is nay. Biome is a taiga. Characterized by coniferous trees and long winters. Science guy, Bill Nye. Uh, maybe rip on? I thought 10 pin. 9 pin? Is there a 9 pin bowling? Boy, this is... Something's wrong here. Um, Lang, who wrote, yeah, another. Alicia, maybe, is a name that fits there. But imagine for a minute what it would be like to inhabit a body without fear. I wonder what that means. Lice. So no, not geology, ecology, I guess. Um, okay. The life of the mine? I, I, I don't know. Where Rosalind disguises herself as Ganymede in As You Like It. I don't know. Uh, Greek god famous for playing a flute. That would be Pan, of course, for like a Pan flute. Infection sometimes called the kissing disease. It's mono. Um, where Rosalind disguised herself as Ganymede. I don't know. Arena. Not bottled or canned on tap, I guess. Talking about beer. Author Kawakami, who wrote Heaven, a story of teenage bullying. Transgression is a sin. Authorized to let, maybe. You authorize someone to do something, you let them do it. Action that's usually faked on stage. A slap. Letters before an alias is AKA, also known as. An uncorking noise is a pop miko. So, we haven't really known too many of these answers other than Eric Carl um, and Alicia, I could guess. Uh, but the crossings have been pretty pretty easy so far except for whatever this is 
Um, what is this going to mean? I don't even know that Alicia is right. Could be wrong. Let's get some more crossings, though. Group protested at the March for Our Lives. Hmm. I remember that march. Um, what the hell are they protesting? Group protested, so not the protesters. Um, that was when all the young people were marching, right? Uh, about climate change? Was that it? Neighbor of Lebanon, maybe Syria. Couples therapy error. I, I don't know. Showtime? Is that a Showtime show? So I've heard. Words of understanding. Yes, I see, maybe. Umbrella alternative. Maybe a rain hat. What is this? Uh, cat's back, sorry. Willow used in basket weaving. Oh, I don't know. A variety willow. A remnant, maybe is a dreg. Hang up one's jersey is to retire. Come on, kitty. I should probably make sure she hasn't paused the recording. Ow. She can get kind of bitey. That's her being affectionate, but it still hurts. Okay. Not surprising more than anything. Um, internet something? An internet novel? So it's not Alicia. I'm guessing it's Olivia. Okay. So I was wrong about Alicia. Where? Uh, Rooney? Life of the Mind? Arden? I don't. I don't know. Um, I'll have to come back to that. Author Kazuo. Yes. Spectrum or Xfinity for short. Those are internet service providers. I mean, sort of. Um, Comcast is the ISP. Xfinity is like the brand of the service that they provide, but whatever. Um, author Tori, right. Hmm, Mudbound director D something. Charlotte Blank, dessert with ladyfingers and Bavarian cream. Don't know. Ishigaro, Ishigara? Group, the NRA. Oh, NRA, right. Yes, Fight for Lives. They weren't protesting climate change. They were protesting mass shootings in schools. Yes. Okay. Auditioned for The Voice. Sang. Charlotte Rusta. Main ingredient in a Unadon. Well, I don't know what that is. So, fortune, maybe fate? Or just luck, maybe luck. What would be a three-letter ingredient that ends in L? Also, U, revealing someone's true identity, maybe unmasking. 2020 National Book Award winner for Interior Chinatown, in which the aspiring actor Willis Wu must contend with Hollywood stereotypes. No clue. Home loan legislation signed by FDR. It's the new... No... I don't know. Rapper who made semi-regular appearances on Keeping Up with the Kardashians. It must be Kanye West, because I think they were divorced now, but he was married to one of the Kardashians for many years. British verb ending, probably eyes, like, you know, I and I's or something. Like they spell that with an S instead of a Z, like we spell it. Its motto is Excelsior. I don't know. Belly is your gut. Uh, distort is data, could be to skew. Elba or Capri are both islands, or isles, I guess, small islands. Jacob, for whom a park in the Rockaways is named. I don't know, let's see. Amanda, right, this was the, I don't know, Gaiman or something? Cover some ground is sod, probably. Form for Go Ask Alice. And Parable of the Sower. Form. A diary. Looks like Charles. And then, again, it's a... 
Sounds like an Asian person, like Charles Wu, or Charles Yu, or something. NWS National Weather Service. Huh. I don't know. Gorman. Why not? Main ingredient in Unadon. Okay. Author Kitamura. Another sounds Japanese, maybe. Hmm. Raps. I don't know. Lil Cootie. Author Spiota. So many authors. 24 hour breakfast spots. Uh, spots, so it's plural. It's like diners or something, or 24 hour breakfast. Cry after an epiphany, maybe is aha. I hop, so they open 24 hours, really? A whole bunch, maybe is a lot. Many a craft brew is an IPA. Charlotte Raisin, I don't know. Um, one, <laughs> two authors here that we have left. Three. The Life of the Mine. Life of the Mint. Life of the Mind. Is any of that? Helping here? Arden. I don't know. I'm just filling in random stuff here. It looks like Peter, but Petira, is that the name? What could this be? Gel? Is it like a gelatinous dessert? I don't know. I'm sure there's going to be lots wrong. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, I don't know what this could possibly be. D-E-F-G-H-I-J-K-L-E-M-N-O-P-Q-R-S-T-C-E-L. Salt. Is it salt? No. T U V W X Y Z. I don't know. Um, Charles. Yeah, let's just let's just fill this stuff in. N Y S New York. Something. I don't. I don't know. Ishigaro. No, it wasn't Ishigaro. Ishigoro. Charlotte Rosie? No. Ishiguro. Charlotte. I just don't know. Real word, Peters. Charlotte Russ? Sure, why not? Um, D. Rees. I mean, come on, what kind of name is that? Really? D. Rees. Wow. Uh, Raps. Lil Cootie was wrong. Whole bunch could be a ton. Maybe Dana. Kid Cootie. Okay. There we go. So obviously we had to do some stuff at the end there, but I'm not surprised. So many, so many theme answers here. How many were there? Let's count that. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, uh, I'm going to call this one nine, ten. Were there, there some downs? Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, thirteen theme answers. That's a lot. A lot of theme answers. I mean, they're pretty easy. They're just people's names. But that's a lot of proper nouns into a grid um, and I guess that's what we're doing we're just cram as much modern literature which I admittedly I don't really read that much of um, 
still, it does seem like a lot. I know Anna Sheckman usually is very proper noun heavy in her in her uh, grid, so I'm sure this was a pleasure for her to write. Um, it just does seem very heavy on the proper nouns. Oh, well, there it is. Um, uh, once again, I'll be back tomorrow uh, for the next in their series. And sometime between now and the end of the year, I'll also find time to squeeze in these other uh, these other crosswords here. Uh, going too far and the impossible crossword. <clears throat> All right, until next time, this has been The Brain. Goodbye. Merry Christmas.